no secret this past winter wasn't one to remember for ice coverage on the Great Lakes. In fact, we peaked nearly the earliest on record coming just a week short of 1999 and we were uh, pretty close to the lowest percentage all time set back 22 years ago. Now the question through the spring was how is this going to influence our temperatures moving forward? Well here's a look at the current water temperatures. Now over the last few months majority of the lakes have spent at least a period of time at the warmest they've ever been at that date. As it stands right now, Lake Ontario is the third warmest they've ever been to finish off May. Now, this is going to influence our weather in a couple of ways. Let's first look at the lake breeze. This is always a talking point in the spring and early summer. The cold water, the heated land, we get that onshore flow, some convection, some convective thunderstorms even. So with the warmer water, that gradient's not going to be quite as strong. But on the opposite end, the warmer water is going to allow those nocturnal storms from coming in from Michigan. They aren't going to weaken quite as much as they move into southern Ontario. I want to finish off with a fun fact. Did you know if you take all the water in the Great Lakes and spread it across all the land of Canada, there would be over two meters of water covering every square inch.